I'm Eric Rosnickel, I'm Bartlett Tree Experts, and I have the luxury and the great benefit of working for Wicker Park Bucktown. SSA number 33 who lets me do whatever I want with their trees. After a year of, of being on the Wicker Park Bucktown Clean, Green, and Safe Committee, I came up with a plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you everything I've got. I'm going to give you all the resources the Bartlett Tree Experts has, and we're going to develop a management plan for all the trees uh, within the Wicker Park Bucktown area. First thing that I did was I walked the entire neighborhood and try to get a gauge of exactly what the, what the size of the whole um, neighborhood was. And it's, it's pretty immense. So we're going to do an inventory, a basic inventory, uh, of you know, collecting all the attributes uh, of each of the trees. We wanted to identify the tree's condition, the health and the vigor, recommending hazardous evaluations and removals of the appropriate trees, recommendations of pruning, soil management, pest management uh, to promote tree safety, health and longevity, Everything we do as far as uh, pest management within Wicker Park Bucktown is done with natural or organic programs. So fertilization is done with phosphorus free fertilizer, 1105 to be specific. And our integrated pest management is done using beneficial insects and horticultural oil treatments only. So we, do, we manage all the pest, pests within Wicker Park Bucktown naturally. Aside from uh, the emerald ash borer, which there's no uh, there's, there's no natural way of dealing with uh, emerald ash borer, so we still have to use uh, soil applied systemic imidacloprid for the ash trees in the Park Bucktown. And then we wanted to manage, uh, manage the immediate risk and long term risk associated with trees in high use areas. We do, this is about hazard reduction pruning, required removals, and street, tree structure uh, re, uh, evaluations. And then we collect 24 attributes of the trees. Uh, so that we can develop some type of management plan for them. And some of those are like technical name, common name, tree location based on GPS coordinate system. By the way, if you're in Wicker Park Bucktown and you're looking at a tree, there's going to be a little bit of a, there's going to be a blue tag with a, a deck screw. It's part of a management plan. So all the trees in Wicker Park Bucktown have an individual marker which places the tree as part of the management plan. So we collected inf cool information like age class, which is uh, new planting, young, semi-mature, mature, over-mature, over height class, condition class, these are really easy, dead, poor, fair, good. Root zone infringement, which we know a lot is uh, a big challenge because it's surrounded by sidewalk, a lot of them. Infrastructure interaction, are they in the power lines, are they in the, the cable lines, that type of thing. And then a priority. You know, what we, when you're dealing with 1,500 trees essentially in Wicker Park Bucktown, where do you start? What, what's the first thing you need to do? What do you need to do year one? We, you know, so we collected all these information so that we could disseminate what needs to be done first year, second year, and third year. So this is the entire inventory. All the, all the trees were given a, uh, a, a unique identifier so that uh, when Beth from uh, Wicker Park Chamber of Commerce uh, says we have you know, tree number 1387 has a broken branch. I know exactly which tree it is. And we go out there and take the broken branch and we're done with it. It's, it's kind of a new, a great way of, of dealing with it. We're doing a second iteration of the, of the, of the um, inventory management plan this July. So this is already three year old data. Typically inventories are a, a, are a static document. They tell you what type of trees you have and where they are. But we created a management plan that's meant to be updated so that after the first iteration of the pruning that we've done is done, we know what to do the next year, the next year, and the next year. So the first, uh, after it was all compiled, we, there were um, 1,581 trees in a group of 55 different species. In species diversification, we were really good. There were no species that were any higher than 12%. We recommended 56 trees for removal, risk assessments for 28 trees, which we've done, integrated pest management, which is really cool. I think I, I touched on that earlier, but we, have a, we actually have a plant healthcare specialist going around Wicker Park Bucktown every other week, driving around and looking for pests that might impact uh, the, the, urban, uh, the urban trees, and then releasing beneficial insects. These are the trees that were labeled as uh, priority one, things that need to be done. When you have 1,500 trees, you really just don't, you don't know where to start. Uh, but this, uh, this management plan gave us a, an outline of what to do in the first year, what to do in the second year, and what to do in the, in the third year. And we've done, we followed this very, very strictly. One of the challenges of working in an urban forest in, in the city of Chicago especially, is that every tree requires a permit to prune, 
and every tree requires a permit from the Chicago Department of Transportation to park in front of to prune. And the whole idea of, of, of doing the work in Wicker Park Bucktown is to promote economic development to the area. We want to draw people in. So people are always welcoming, they're always excited about what we're doing for them. Uh, the trees look great. Take a drive down division, stop down and you know, and go to Smoke Daddy and, and check out the trees on, on division because they're pretty remarkable.